live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio. This is SA Live. Network. You know what they say, where there's a piñata, there's a party. And boy, do we got a party today. <laughs> yes, what a smashing show we have planned for you today. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jen Tobias Dresky, filling in for Fiona. She's back tomorrow, by the way. Yes, yeah, she is. And I'm Mike Osterhage. And this is Monday, and we are now kicking off the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. It starts today in Ooh, Christmas. So excited. Yes, you can enter right now on SALive.com. So how much do you win? How exactly do you enter? Our David Elder has you covered. KSAT is teaming up with 12 local businesses to give away more than $21,000 worth of prizes for the holidays. So here's how it goes. You can register every weekday to win that day's prize. But if you don't win that prize, it's okay. Because the next day, you can register to win that day's prize. Plus, you can win the day previous. You can win that prize as well. So that means on day one, you get one prize. Day two, two prizes. Day three, you guessed it, three prizes. All the way up to 12 days, you can win 12 prizes. Prizes. So you're probably asking yourself, well, how do you enter? Go to ksat.com slash 12 days or go to SA Live's Facebook page and click on the 12 days of Christmas post for that day. How many times can you enter? Once every weekday of the contest from today through Tuesday, December 18th. The final prize will be announced on the SA Live Holiday at the Square Primetime show December 18th at 7 p.m. So make sure you're watching to see if you won. It's going to be a great Christmas and make sure you go on and enter to win all these wonderful prizes each weekday because this contest is phenomenal and there's a lot of really fun things to win this holiday. Thank you very much, David. And so that's the rules and regulations. Now it's time to announce the first prize on the first day of the 12 Days Giveaway. If you win today, you will get a candy party pack from Alamo Candy Company. Yay! Now we have lots of goodies to give you a little taste of what's in there. Look at all of that from chamoy, pickle balls, cherry bombs, mango chili candy, a piñata, huge bottles of chamoy, beer sauce, all of that for the lucky winner today. So just enter right now, ksat.com slash 12 days, or click the post on SA Live's Facebook page. And remember, this is just the first day. There are 11 more days with even more prizes. And on the 12th day of Christmas, our grand prize winner gets all 12 prizes. Wow. And like David said, we will announce the winners each day right here at 1 o'clock on SA Live on KSAT 12. So be sure to tune in. Yes, yeah, so much to celebrate the giveaway, but we also have some very special guests joining us today. Well, if you did not know, San Antonio and New Orleans are both celebrating birthdays this year, 300. And in Yay. honor of that, we have this culinary exchange going on, and there is a party that is open to the public. So San Antonio and New Orleans will each host an evening celebrating 300 years of rich culinary legacy by sending notable chefs to share the excellence of these two top foodie destinations. Last week, we sent over Chef Jason Dady, owner of six restaurants here in town, Chef Jeff Balfour from Southerly, and of course, you may recognize Chef Garino. There's Chef J uh, Jason Dady right there, and our Southerly chef right there, and Garino Cortez. Yes, you've seen her here on the show, La Familia Cortez Restaurants, and they got to give a taste of San Antonio cuisine over there. All fantastic restaurants, and now in exchange, we are so excited because we have three of New Orleans chefs on the show to share a little bit of the New Orleans Cuisine scene. There they Look are. And Yay. first in the hot seat is <laughs> Jeff Will Avalar, who is from Merrill in New Orleans, which is Emerald Lagasse's fourth restaurant. And I am just mouth watering looking at this <sighs> yes. appetizer. Good afternoon. Welcome to San Antonio, sir. Great to be here. Thanks for having us. All right. What are we making today? Yes. Okay. So today we have uh, one of uh, New Orleans' iconic uh, dishes. It's called barbecue shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically shrimp that we saute a little bit. Um, and some butter. Uh, we've uh, yes. definitely seasoned this mm. with some Creole spice. And um, <clears throat> there are some classic uh, or main ingredients that need to be going in here. It's lemon juice, Worcestershire, butter, a good amount of black pepper as well. Uh, but we've taken those flavors and just made like a reduction of it. And uh, it's basically our barbecue shrimp base. Now, when you say barbecue, I usually think of like more Something on the grill? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, something on the grill like that, or yeah, more of a sweet smoke. or tangy barbecue sauce. Yeah, no, this is just like New Orleans interpretation of what like mm. barbecue shrimp would look like, or it's not necessarily barbecued at all. I really don't understand why they call it barbecue <laughs> shrimp, but I think a lot of things just happen like that in New Orleans as well. Such a culture clash you have there. So tell me about the food that at Merrill Restaurant, because there's so many different cultures that come together with the flavors and the spices. Yeah, so uh, the restaurant and the menu itself kind of like 
goes throughout the whole world. Uh, we do pastas, we do flatbreads. We also do some Korean short ribs. Uh, we do tamales as well. What? So it's like all over the place. Wow. Tacos, and, and it's, it's just like really like a culture clash on a menu. But. I was going to say, because the culture of New Orleans, because a lot of people think of it's, you know, Cajun, French, but mm -hmm. it's all of the Caribbean and yeah. some Central America and everything yeah. else that just came yeah. right in there to New Orleans. Especially nowadays, I mean, there's even more like Vietnamese influence in our city. Uh, but you can definitely find like the French, you can find the Spanish. Uh, definitely the Caribbean, and it's just like a melting pot, just like San Antonio. I was going to say, and then certain similarities yeah. to San Antonio, not only culturally, but also a little bit in the culinary side, right? Yeah, in the culinary Ooh, side, what are we for adding? sure. So right now I just added some heavy cream. Oh, there was a yes. little bit of reduction of that Worcestershire lemon juice. Mm -hmm. added that to, to that as well. And now that basically kind of completes the sauce a little bit, uh, and once the heavy cream reduces to that consistency, we'll just finish it with some more butter on top. Can't, can't go wrong with more butter. Right? <laughs> with butter and more butter. Yes. Definitely an Emerald Lagasse restaurant yes, if, you're, if sure. you're doing all that. For so sure. we have got uh, the three oh, chefs. Look at him again. And when the chefs were in uh, San nice Antonio, butter. excuse me, the San Antonio <laughs> chefs were in New Orleans, what all did they cook and, and what did you show them? Oh, uh, dude, they, the, the quail dish was a standout uh, mm. on that evening. Uh, that was with grits. Uh, there was this black bean dip with these rice crackers that I really enjoyed. Um, Stop it. The dessert <laughs> was awesome. Your chef, you were just talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's your name again? The chef oh, from Carino. Here? Carino, oh, Carino. yeah. Her dessert yes. was awesome. Yes. Yeah, she had a really I good love dessert. Her. Yes. So, I mean, they, they, they definitely did a great job when they came down to San Antonio. Well, Chef I mean, Will is well. going to be, uh, there's a special dinner. We're going to be talking more about that tonight where all of the New Orleans chefs are going to be getting together and. We'll come back and taste this. Yes, we're we're not sure. going to leave oh, without I can't, tasting it. I can't taste it right uh, now. You know, take over? a shrimp with you while take we walk one. over. <laughs> you walk that way. I'm going to take a bite and yes. you introduce Michael. More good eats. Yes, Chef Michael Guada with May Pop and Morpho Restaurant. How are we doing? I'm great. Great. And good. so we're Pardon talking. Me one second. Oh, Will, this is fantastic. Oh my. He has to God. give his reaction. Yes. So we're talking beans, right? Yes. Tell yes. me what we're making today. Well, so you know, I grew up in New Orleans, and uh, you know, on Mondays, every Monday in New Orleans is red beans and rice day, and it's it's one of those things. It's soul warming. It's every New Orleanian does it. It's it's uh, it's part of our our growing up, and. So I do a little play. My restaurants are both sort of meld the Mekong Delta with the Mississippi Delta. So there's a huge Vietnamese population in New Orleans. And so I love the, uh, the, the, how that Vietnamese influence brightens the rich flavors mm -hmm. of New Orleans cuisine. Mm -hmm. and so that's kind of the idea. And so when my mom would make red beans and rice, she always puts a ham hock uh, or some kind of salt pork in there. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is we make a, we brine ham, uh, pork belly for two days in ham wow. brine. So it basically takes on the flavors of ham and then we roast it. And then we're going to put it over a little red bean salad. So if you want to help me out, sure. would you uh, take, there's a little spoon there. You want to throw some of these red beans into that pot? Okay. Mm. What are some of the customer favorites at your restaurant? Um, so, well, I, at MoFo, we're actually known for our wings. We do these really oh. awesome uh, lemongrass and uh, fish Ooh. sauce caramel wings. It's, uh, it's what? really fun. Vietnamese, throw some of that in there. Yep, you got it. Okay, we got shallots, we've got, shallots, we've got there. beans, we've got a little bit of cilantro that goes in here as well. There. And then wow. here we have the exo sauce. We make the exo sauce with uh, dried Louisiana shrimp. So we make Ooh. our own exo sauce. It makes like a little vinaigrette. So Here's pour that in there. So the, all of it? All, no, not all of it. Just one spoonful. One, one, spoonful. one spoonful, okay. Slow down now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the more the merrier, right? Little, uh, <laughs> a little vinegar in there as well. So we basically okay. make a little salad. We're going to put it right on the burner over here. There you go, sir. All right. Thank so you so much. So you've been cooking yep. since you were young, right? I always wanted to cook, so I was lucky enough to where I had a mom who, and a grandmother and a family that always cooked all the time. And then, um, you know, at some point, uh, my mom had to go back to school, and so she let me start cooking for the family because I, I would annoy her so much. She'd like, take me to, <laughs> teach me how to cook, let me cook dinner, let me take me to the store, buy me these things that I saw on TV. I want to cook these things. Oh, really? She actually had to you provide yeah. her with the menus. Yeah, and so she, wow. uh, she would then just, she's like, fine, you just cook, you do it. I don't, I'm not going to deal with it anymore. <laughs> would you mind handing me a spoon? Certainly. And you had to cook for your uh, brother, right? I did. I did. My, well, my older, older brother. brother. So now, <laughs> now he's my business partner, and he, uh, he picks out all our wine lists and does all the service. And he and I worked in restaurants together in New Orleans for years and then uh, decided about five years ago we wanted to do our own thing. And so we did. We left and opened our own restaurant, and that was our first one, MoFo. And now we have two. We have another one, Maypop, which is a little more high-end and kind of shows my uh, Sicilian heritage. Mm -hmm. so there's a lot of handmade pastas, but still using that Southeast Asia Here in influence. San Antonio, what would be one of your favorite uh, dishes? Oh, man. Well, I, you know, we got to go get, um, yesterday we went to go get uh, pollo asado with uh, beans and, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and charred, and uh, what was it? The, the beans I had were just absolutely amazing. Because obviously, you know, I grew up eating red beans and rice. And so to get really good beans and rice, to me, is just one of those things. And they did something that I'd never seen. They, 
it looks like they fried skins first and then put it into the beans. Ah, yes. So it has yep. this really beautiful gelatiny, like like just unctuous deliciousness to it that I love. I love how you appreciate food the way you, you talk had, about it. I'm I like, know. oh yeah. <laughs> Have you had a breakfast taco yet? Uh, I had one this morning. Oh, yes. okay. Yes, our, our host chef, uh, Chef Dady, uh, brought us a whole bunch and they were absolutely delicious. They were amazing. It was the perfect way to start the day. Speaking of Chef Dady, Michael, thank you very much. The Tricentennial Culinary Exchange is happening tonight at 6 p.m. at Chef Dady's restaurant, which is Trey Tutoria, located 200 West Jones Avenue. Now, the event, unfortunately, is sold out, but if you'd like more information about visit thepowerofpreservation.org, and it's all the preservation of all the just, you know, the, the cultures and everything of both cities, go to, again, powerofpresentation.org. Gentlemen, thank you, but we are not done yet. No, stick around. We have dessert coming from another New Orleans chef, and I'm excited about that. Oh, look at that. Looks delicious. All right, still ahead on the show, we're getting festive for the holidays with colorful cocktails from Artisan on Alamo Distillery. And would you like to try New Orleans-inspired taco? We are going to share the details right after the break. There's a little bit of heaven in a cast iron pot. Welcome back to SA Live. And are you ready for a New Orleans-inspired dessert? Yes, Chef Juan Carlos Gonzalez from Sobu to give us a sweet taste of the culinary exchange. And that looks amazing. I'm so excited. I know Mike's excited, too. Bread pudding, classic Southern dessert, right? I mean, there's there's <laughs> bread pudding, and then there's bread pudding. And then, as you said, then <laughs> there's the queen, queen of bread, of bread pudding. pudding. I don't know about all that, but this is really This is good. the queen of bread yeah, pudding. Absolutely. Queen. Yes. Okay, how we get started with this? Guys. All right, so, so what we have here is very simple, actually, all right? Uh, first of all, Central Market Finest, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. Brioche bread, okay, local, all right? Uh, we have a brandy cherry and white chocolate bread pudding. Mm -hmm. Okay, you cannot have bread pudding without eggs, cream, and bread. Okay. okay? Most people would just throw the bread away, right, in, in the South, 
we make bread pudding out of it, right? You can make savory bread pudding or sweet bread pudding. And what you want to do is it's for old bread. And Absolutely. the drier, the better, because it absorbs all the, the custard and everything, right? Exactly. Okay. Jen, why don't you grab, why don't you grab the, uh, a mixture okay. of egg and cream? Just put it right in the bowl. All right. Okay. All right. Mike, why don't you grab the bread? Okay. okay. And then just let it soak. And normally, you want to let it soak for about a day. Mm. Maybe a little oh. bit more cream in there. Too. Oh, that yeah. long? A day? Okay. Yeah. The, so about 24 hours or so, you want that bread to oh. soak all that liquid and all yeah, the sugars, all we'll right? Yes. So we have a little bit of sugar, cinnamon. Okay. How much? Just a good little... A uh, good bit. Good yeah, bit. Okay. We like for posterity's <laughs> sake. And you know, cinnamon on here? Absolutely. And then right. and, and in the restaurant at Sobo, we like to use brandy cherries. Ooh. Okay. Instead of raisins, because raisins are usually kind of the classic yeah. thing with, with bread pudding. So, and I've heard these are amazing. Mm. It's almost like a play on drunken bread That's pudding. That's a kick really. in there. Yeah, right? Yeah. Those are good. <laughs> and don't, uh, Mike, don't be shy, man. Don't be shy. Yeah. No, you know no, what? No. All right. There we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. A little bit of chocolate in there. And then also uh, some little uh, pralines. Uh, today we don't have pralines, but we're going to garnish it with candy pecans. Oh, I thought that was what praline was. Uh, can, well, can you... it, it's a version of it, but mm. we, these, are, we, these are actually uh, poaching simple syrup and then flash fried. Oh, they are learned, very good. I learned something new. Mm -hmm. So okay. this would go in the oven. So this goes in the long. ovens for about half an hour or so, okay, uh, for about 350 degrees. All right. Okay. Where did you get your expertise as far as cooking? You know, uh, I want to I wanna blame my, both my parents. Okay. They're, they're amazing cooks. That was the uh, outskirts, outside barbecue kind of kind of mm -hmm. dude, and he in loves Puerto making Rico? paella right. in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. uh, Mom was more of the inside gourmet, so to mm -hmm. speak, and, you know, little Juan Carlos was always in the kitchen, peeling shrimp and, you know, uh, getting the uh, fire started and whatnot. And so that's kind of how that all came about. I love okay. that food and family. Bring everybody uh, it's amazing, together, man. And then you get which, add which, the rum. Which brings us to family-style <laughs> dinners. You know, my family that. is huge, and we all are, you know, family-oriented, uh, family-style serving platters. Mm -hmm. And this is a version of that. And to put on top of that, instead of any sort of a okay, uh, so bourbon in, sauce, it's... So in the restaurant, we uh, make a house-made vanilla bean ice cream. Today, mm -hmm. we're not making ice cream, okay? Nope. Instead, we have a little bit of a chantilly cream, which we spiked with a little bit of rum, or maybe a lot of rum. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay so that goes right on top, just like so. And while you're doing that, because we have a, just a little bit of time left, but you also have an eggnog over here, and this is a Puerto Rican eggnog, is that correct? Okay, so you ready for this? Yes. yes. This is a surprise for you guys, right? <laughs> this is called Coquito. Okay. okay, you got to say okay. Coquito. Coquito. I got to taste Okay, and so... Gonna, you want to go ahead. Go so ahead. Coquito is a Puerto Rican style eggnog, uh -huh. right? So... Let's go ahead and pour. This is, this is equal parts of uh, uh, condensed milk. Okay. All right, evaporated milk, mm. cream mm. of coconut, mm. again, mm. lots of rum, all right, and a little bit of cinnamon. Oh, my All God. right, well, we're okay. going to... We're not going to taste this then, just yet. We're going to get to David's piece now. How about now. that? How about yes. That? Oh, my See? goodness. Look at him. He's going on. <laughs> all out here. All right. So from Cajun cuisine to a New Orleans-inspired taco, don't worry. We're getting back to the eggnog. But David is going to take us to Southerly now. Yes, indeed. For Look at what's going on tonight. Well, San Antonio's Tricentennial has been in full swing this year, but another city that's very close by has also been celebrating their Tricentennial. That's New Orleans. And so San Antonio and New Orleans are teaming up to do a culinary exchange event, and it's happening today. And joining me today is JC Rodriguez, sous chef at Southerly out here in San Antonio, to talk about this fusion of the two cities right here. This is like a New Orleans-inspired taco and about the event happening tonight. Yeah, you sure. Today we're going to be doing a crab taco. It's going to be crab, egg, a little bit of green Ooh. onions, pepper, uh, we're going to be putting in a nice, uh, sort of, uh, almost a play on a puffing taco. I like uh, that. It's like crispy, right? Yeah, it has a nice crispy. Crisp yeah, absolutely. We're, we're trying to go ahead and uh, blend uh, the two cities, a little New Orleans, a little San Antonio in there. And you just recently visited New Orleans, right? We did. We were part of the Chef Exchange. Uh, we were up there. Uh, they had three chefs from uh, New Orleans uh, do our appetizers. Three chefs uh, from San Antonio went ahead and did the main courses. How cool is that? It's, it was so much fun. It was super cool. And we're going to go ahead and flip it tonight, uh, and we'll be doing the appetizers while the three uh, chefs from New Orleans go ahead and do the main courses. That's so cool. I know. I'm super excited. And uh, yes, that event is happening this evening at Trey Trattoria, and you guys can head out there. It starts at 6, that's cocktails, Yes. and then 7.30 is a dinner. But this is a, something fun that's kind of a fusion of the two cities, and this is the taco that you're all looking at. So what's the first thing you do to make this, this fusion taco? First thing we're going to do is we're going to add our onions and our peppers. Okay. Here, I'm going to get some oh, of the peppers yeah, then. Yeah, Here, you the go for the onions. Yeah, so onions right there? Time to a sizzling yeah, pan. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go. Now we're cooking. Yeah. Uh. So we're doing that because we want to brown our crab. You want to go and put a little bit of that Yeah, I'll put some of the crab yeah, in there. Yeah. And talk to me about this crab here. That right there is going to be jumbo lump crab from the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we get it 
uh, just about daily. I mean, look at that. That is it's that looks great. I mean, I'm gonna throw nice a little bit. sweet. Did you say crabtastic? <laughs> no, but I wish I did. <laughs> okay, well, I thought I thought yeah, you said it, okay. and I like that. Yeah, crab -tastic. Like it. We, we, we're gonna say it a couple more times. Yeah. But, now you're gonna be browning this all up, and this is the final product over here. I love what it looks like. Love what it, I mean. You have such vibrant colors in there, really showing off what San Antonio is all about. But also, I love the purple in there because it kind of looks like a little bit of New Orleans in there. I, I like that, that too. Yeah. I, I feel like there's a little Mardi Gras, a little Fiesta mixed together yeah. in that taco. What are some of the inspirations that you got from when you went out there and you learned from some of these chefs mm -hmm. uh, that you'll be bringing back to San Antonio with you? Uh, for one thing, they were all incredibly kind. Everybody was really, really sweet. Um, Secondly, they just talked about the Trinity a lot. We talked about using onions, peppers. That Holy Trinity, right? And in, in the in the Creole and the Cajun cooking that's out there. Yeah. So it, it is subtly really is. It's a blend of Texan food and that Southern cuisine Absolutely. melded really. together. And I love that you guys are actually incorporating tacos today for us. Yeah, You're yeah, indulging yeah. us in this yeah. in this wonderful fusion of culture. Now, the, like you said, you went out there. Now, what was it like? What were they celebrating with out there in New Orleans for their tricentennial? I feel like New Orleans celebrates special either way. Uh, <laughs> you know, they, they, I, I walked out the gate and they, were, you know, there was horns blaring, people having a good time. Uh, all the chefs were super inviting. Uh, lots of toasting. To get more information on the event happening this evening, it's a culinary exchange between two cities celebrating their tricentennial, New Orleans and. San San Antonio. Of course, you can head to our website, salive.com. We have a link on there to buy tickets. It starts tonight at 6 o'clock for cocktail hours. Dinner is at 7.30. And you can expect to get some of the best food you've had from both cities out there. And I'm going to join you here. We'll grab one of these tacos. JC, thank you so much for having me out here. Want to grab a taco? Oh, please. We got cheers this taco here. Cheers. Craptastic. Craptastic. Still ahead on the show, a uh, look at one of the newest furniture shops in town and why they make furniture shopping quick and easy, so stay with us. Well, friend of the show and lifestyle expert, Scott DeFalco.
Well, friend of the show and lifestyle expert, Scott DeFalco is here today at Market Square, and you've got some secrets. This really amazing new technology, basically, that makes you look in the mirror and go, wow. Yeah, that's I, one I, word I for look, it, yeah. I look younger. So, you know, you want to go to a party and, you know, and people go, oh, you're tired, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> this prevents that, right? Look, Mike, it's the normal key signs of aging. People laugh at me when I say this, but getting older is great. It really is. <laughs> See, <laughs> it is. We're conquering life. We're surviving it's life. It's fighting those key signs of aging that are the issue. But with Plexiderm, we're making it easy because it is just a cream. And as you're about to see, it works in minutes. Because I brought my good buddy, Richie, who I've introduced to Fiona. You know his name, right? Oh, yes. I have seen him. Richie time. Bags, I call him, Mike. <laughs> and you can see why he's got some serious issues going on under those eyes. And what he just did, Mike, was rub a small amount of Plexiderm. And I stress small amount because it is a highly concentrated formula, so less is more. You only need a little bit. He rubbed a small amount under both eyes. Do not blink or change that channel because in two minutes right before your very eyes, both of those under eye bags will be gone. Okay, so while that video plays, we're gonna show some before and after pictures yeah. of actual Plexiderm users. Here those are. Yeah, and that's the great thing about our new and improved formula, Mike, is that it's not just working quicker, but on all the problem areas of the face, all those key signs of aging, not just the under eye bags like you're seeing with Richie, but the forehead lines right there with Tammy, the crow's feet around your eyes, the laugh lines around your mouth, you see it right there, and also that loose skin people can get under their neck, again, just by getting older, just normal aging process, or maybe somebody that's lost a lot of weight, Mike, mm -hmm. they feel great about their appearance because they lost the weight, but they get the loose skin under their neck, they're insecure again, Plexiderm is working on that as well. Okay, back to uh, Richie, you've got to check yeah. this out and see how he's doing there, so it's been about, what, maybe uh, there 30, we go, 30 seconds, seconds or so. And Mike, and yeah, there it's is. incredible to see, but I was in the room when we shot this. It is really? mind-blowing to witness it in person, you're seeing it right there. We're about a minute in, it's about 50% gone. And at the two minute mark, we were high-fiving and cheering uh, me and all the executives because we knew this was a really special product. And I mean, not to say something about him, but I mean, he's got <laughs> heavier bags than most people do. <laughs> well, Mike, you're yeah. gonna laugh. We pulled him from our accounting office. Okay. He said, hey, Richie, you wanna be in our new commercial? <laughs> he was all excited till we told him what it was for. <laughs> you can see from the look Poor on his God. face, he wasn't too happy. But at the end, he was, believe me. And another thing about this, Mike, is the ingredients in it. I get asked that a lot. You know, you would think people would wanna know just does it work, but they're interested in the science behind mm -hmm. it. We derive silicates from this shell rock that I have here on the table. And what is happening in the formula as it drives into your problem area is that the molecules in that formula they are weaving together to tighten that problem area, to reduce the appearance of it, and also raise those crevices to give you a nice, smooth, young-looking surface. Okay, and we have some testimonials from some folks that have actually tried yeah. it. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> These lines bother me. They really do. And this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. Hi guys, my name is Sandy Marinese. I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And one of the number one question that I always get in my chair is, can you make me look younger? So we had a few people that we applied it to and some of them at first I was like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. And I was so impressed how fast, efficient, and how well it really worked. Now I could really say to people, yes, I can make you look younger. <laughs> Sandy's great. So uh, testimonials from that. Now, you can put then makeup on top of it? Ah, uh, yes, the number okay. one question I get from the ladies. And you know, Mike, that's why we use guys a lot for these before and afters and the videos because their signs of aging are much more prominent than women. Most men, besides you and I, don't wear makeup. Women that try to cover up these problem areas with makeup, the more they put on, the more it can enhance it. So it's a real simple process. Put Plexiderm on a clean, dry face, wait about 10 minutes, then your makeup is normal. It's that simple. Two greatest things about Plexiderm, Mike, not just how quickly it works, but how long it lasts. It's gonna get you through six to eight hours of your day, that's huge. Okay, well, you've seen the, the videos, you've heard the testimonials, and you know you spend a lot of money on certain products, and here is Richie one more time, <laughs> and uh, you know take advantage of a great Plexiderm holiday special for up to 50% off with free shipping on your orders by going to Plexiderm.com or give them a call right now at 1-800-693-9286. Scott, thank you very much. Thank you. Next on SA Live, festive favorites for the Christmas and holiday parties. We're shaking things up with Artisan on Alamo Distillery, plus how you can win a free distillery tour and tasting. Stay with us.
Welcome back to SA Live, festive favorites for the holiday season from Artisan on Alamo. That's just some shots of their place because they do have that cactus. What is it? Cactus, cactus vodka. Spike mm, vodka. Spike yum. vodka. Literally. Literally. Spike, spike, spike vodka. That. Nick Fink yes. of Artisan on Alamo is here shaking things up for your next Christmas and or holiday party. And, you know, it's something just... You always want something that looks good and, and festive and, and, and tastes good too. And, and tastes well, good yeah, too. Tastes yes. good. <laughs> so, what are we doing here? So, we're going to actually start down your end. We're actually going to make, make a maple um, old fashioned. Okay. So, mm -hmm. we have a great new bourbon, uh, Bear Ridge. Go ahead and put about two ounces, which is about a four count, into that glass. All righty. So, and to this is all part of our um, holiday um, menu. We do have a great holiday menu. Go ahead and do a, about a two or three count of maple syrup. So, one, does nice every old fashioned have syrup in it? No, this is a <laughs> twist on a one of our old fashioned. Cool. A little bit of simple syrup, just a okay. little bit. That kind of thins out the maple syrup. Yes, it does. A little bit. So, nice and, and sweet. Get, go ahead and shake that up. And then you're going to put it in that short glass there. On um, this one, we don't muddle the um, sherry or anything like that. We just okay. pour it right in there. Pour and it with the ice and everything. Ice and all? Mm -hmm. so. And because an old fashioned is just is one of those classic kind of cocktails, right? Yeah. Mm. We have a lot of twists on the old fashioned. We do a lot of seasonal berries, uh, <laughs> grapefruit. Um, we do Ooh, green apple, old fashions, and stuff like that. The grapefruit old fashions. That sounds awesome. good. Yeah. The sweetness in there is just enough. The bourbon flavor is great, but if you don't like that little, you know, that mm from right. it, it just kind of <laughs> takes the edge off. It's a great off, so. holiday. You know what I'm talking <laughs> no, about. No, that I do. Little... That's why I laugh because yeah. like, I get it. Like, you yeah. just go, mm, and I'm like, It's a I great got you. fireplace side drink. Yeah. Just for the holidays. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Powerful. Okay. So the next thing here we're going to do. Smaller sips. <laughs> the next okay. one we're going to do is a uh, blackberry smash. Okay. So this you can actually make uh, alcoholic or non alcoholic. So okay. just put a couple uh, fresh blackberries in there and smash them up, squish them up, sort of make a jam out of them. <clears throat> um, just make sure you don't break the glass. I know. Did you hear me? Oh, How long's your place been around now? Uh, two years. We just had our two year anniversary. Okay. So, um, and we're, uh, we do tours like you mentioned before. Um, let's. Continue making the cocktail. Go ahead and do a four count of the Texas Pride, which is our um, One, two, our handmade three, vodka right on site. And then do about the same count on the lemon infusion. Oh, the fly likes it. And then when you do that, I'm going to put a, a fresh lemon in this. What was the count? I just did it. I don't know. Keep on going. Keep going. There we go. There we go. And One, then two, take, one, two. take this, pour it over, and shake it like Mike just shook it. So. You don't have to be fancy <laughs> on it. But um, no, so we... <laughs> Uh, we've been, so we've been around uh, two years. We handcraft our cocktails just like we do our vodka, our bourbon, and our moonshine. Uh, we continue to change our menu for the holidays. We have uh, everything from uh, uh, peppermint candy uh, and uh, Christmas cookie and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is a great cocktail. If you have people that don't drink, just don't add mm -hmm. the vodka in there, and it's a great cocktail and stuff like it's that. So, so what delicious. would you add? Maybe some club soda in there or something? No, or actually add a little bit more of the lemon infusion and stuff okay. like that. All so right. let, let's. And you have, well, we're unfortunately we're running kind of short That's on fine. time, but you have a uh, giveaway, right? Yes, I do. Uh, those that email me get a free tour and tasting, and everybody that uh, emails me is put into a pool for a free T-shirt. Got okay. it. So for all those cocktails and a whole lot more, Artisan on Alamo and visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Nick, thank you very much as thank always. You. Thank Appreciate you, Nick. It. Coming up on SA Live, it's a place that makes shopping easy and faster than ever. David Elder is at the newest furniture store over near Northwest Military in Loop 1604. We're going to give you a preview after this. He's having some fun over there, too.
Hey, it's David Elder with SA Live. Well, we're out here today off 1604 and Northwest Military at Living Spaces. That's right. We're inside the showroom. It's the second store here in Texas. And let me tell you guys, it is huge and it is wonderful out here. And joining me today to talk more about it, Jennifer Aguayo. Now, you actually have a lot of different things to talk about with us today, including all this wonderful furniture, right? I do. We're so excited to be here in San Antonio. So come out. Hopefully everybody comes out to see us. We've got a huge showroom, like you said, full of amazing style. Um, we've got dining, living rooms, um, anything you, you want for your home, we have it here. And when you're out here and you're talking with these salesmen, there's something special about them that makes them kind of your prime candidate for the salesman you want to work with, right? Yes. So David here, uh, our team members are non-commissioned. So they're truly here to help you and help our guests find what they need, truly here to be your guide. Uh, but nobody works on commission. So it makes your shopping experience uh, fast, fun, and easy. And talking about shopping experience, right now is the holidays. You're most likely with your kids. But to make that experience even better than normal at other places, you also have a place just for them, right? We do, it's called Kids Spaces, and oh, your kids will want to come and shop with us. So we also cater to our smallest smallest guests uh, with our kids. So we have a huge play area for them to play in. Um, there's games in there, we've got a TV screen for them to watch movies, um, and our staff in there really takes great care of them while the parents can do the shopping. And you guys get this, more than 150 living rooms, 115 dining rooms, and 100 bedrooms, plus accessories. Yes, it's everything you could possibly wish and more here for your home. And you guys, you're also, I mean, there's a tie back to Texas though, right? I mean, for the whole store. There is, so our owner is from Texas. So coming to Texas is like a homecoming for us. So we're really thrilled to be here in Texas. And you can see the sign right there. Ted was just looking at it. That's right, Joanna Gaines, her line Magnolia Home is sold in store. And that is a Texas native as well that's out here making sure that all the things that you have in your home are modern classic styles. And you can see the shiplap right behind her. If you watch the show, you know shiplap's important. All right, now you guys have a lot of things that are for sale always, I mean, not even really for sale because your prices are good all the time, right? Yeah, we have everyday low pricing. So you can shop with confidence knowing you're getting the best price every day. So it's really cool. And I mean, you have mattresses as well, right? We do. We have a Revive brand and we have all the, the national brands as well that you can choose from. So come out and get a sleep test. David, we got to get you over. Over I, to let you have a sleep test. I actually almost fell asleep. I was on that sofa earlier. I almost fell asleep. This, I mean, everything in here is comfortable. There's so many different selections, options for the whole family and for every room in the house. You can see Ted's showing you guys some accent chairs. There's little sections like this every and it's just something that really you could find whatever you need here, right? That's right. So, I mean, really, we're your one-stop shop. So no need to go to any, anywhere else. We truly want to be your home furnishing shopping destination. And thank you so much for having us out here. At the count of three, we're going to do it together, though, okay? we got to do, do the part. Here we go. Okay. In one, two. Living, living Spaces. spaces. you got to do it. All right. And you get more information on Living Spaces. Of course, you can go to their website, livingspaces.com slash San Antonio, or call 877-266-7300. That's 877-266-7300. We'll be right back after this. One, two, three, four, five.
live all between Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, Christmas, all the holidays. It can be a challenge to lose weight, all the good food, but Slimedica can help you. I have patient counselor Alexander Castillo joining me now, and we know life gets hectic, and it's hard even to make time sometimes for Very things like true. this. But you guys have a great way to lose weight, and it's fun even. It's right? fun, and it's very effective. That's the key word. What we see on average is our patients will lose around half a pound to a pound per day. So wow. this is a good program for someone like you just explained, someone who doesn't have time to hit the gym. I mean, I know it's my go-to program after I have my baby in just a few weeks. I did the program uh, three years ago before I worked at the clinic and I lost 23 pounds in just four weeks. So wow. I know if I did it back then, I can do it again now and yeah. I cannot wait to get started. And it's going to be something that's doable because it's not like I'm going to have to be away from my family for long. It only takes 40 minutes when you come in and lay under the Zorona laser and it is completely painless. There's no downtime whatsoever. You come in and relax just like our patient is doing on screen and the laser is doing all the work for you. Wow. It's painlessly melting your fat. Wow, so a lot of people, that is neat. So you just lay there and relax and the fat is going away. Exactly, <laughs> it's going away. And in combination with that, there's a lot of science behind the program. It's all medically supervised and it is tailored for each individual patient that comes in our clinic. So we do always start off by running a full thorough lab analysis to make sure that we're really getting down to the root of the problem and treating your body from the inside out. We're going to look for hormone imbalances, vitamin deficiencies. We're going to make sure that you're on an effective program. We customize a nutrition program. Nice. We make the nutrition even easier by pairing prescription medications to really help curb those cravings that you might be having. Mm -hmm. It comes in handy during the holidays yes. because we know there's lots of good food, like you said, but you can still eat those foods and lose inches at the same time with our program. Because you have a four-week program. Tell me about the four-week program. It's an awesome package. It's what I did when I did the program, and it includes everything that you need to really get that half a pound to a pound per day weight loss. It's a combination of visits with our medical provider, your Zorona laser sessions, our VibraGym sessions, your customized nutrition program, everything that you need to get on track. And this is a good time to start now because with New Year's coming, you know, everyone always has the same resolution yes. and that's weight loss. Yes. Start now. Beat, beat the people who are going to start in January. Four weeks is plenty of time to see a really significant change in your weight loss. I love that. We have some results. So patient Nicole and look at her there. So she lost quite a bit. Oh, 50 pounds. She looks incredible. She did an eight-week program and lost 50 pounds. And you can see her in her before. And look at her after photo. She looks like a wow. total different person. She is a perfect example of busy. She works full-time. She's an actress. She manages a theater. And she still found time to come in and just relax under the Zorona laser and get those pounds off. Got it. So you guys have a deal. So the first 10 callers, right? Yes, you're going to get everything that you see on screen for over 50% off. That package is normally priced at 4000 but today, only for the first 10 people, you're going to get it for just $1,800 with the bonus giveaway, two small area laser hair removal sessions. Wow, all of that, just call or text right now, 210-361-1480. That's 210-361-1480 to take advantage of that. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back.
Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, Buddy V's. Mm-hmm. We've got chicken, ooh, lightly breaded with vinegar and peppers. Wow, that looks good. Delicious. And mini treats for your sweet tooth this holiday season. Annie's Petite Treats will be here tomorrow to give you a taste. Some goodies. Look at those. They're beautiful. That's tomorrow at 1. So every month here on SA Live, we get to team up with Go Public and Orange Theory to highlight school districts and all their cool programs that are changing students' lives. And this month, we are heading up northeast to the Judson ISD. The programs pushing for the votes from the community are the Judson High School Theater Arts Team, from musical theater to costume construction and everything in between. This bunch is really proud of their accomplishments. Metzger Middle School Band Program. They've been receiving several awards and they hope to showcase their skills if they win. And the Veterans Memorial High School Mariachi Band. The group shines through their cultural and musical touch. Only two years old, they're hoping to win as well. Good luck to all of you. And all you have to do is head over to SA Live and click the Cool Schools tab to enter your vote. The winning school gets to be featured right here on our show. And voting ends next Friday. So for more information, go to Go Public. On Go Public, visit wegopublic.com and follow them on social media. Again, we go public. All right. I know. Good luck to all of you. So, Buddy V's. Yes. And we also have... The Cheesecake Factory is coming. Uh, if you like peanut butter, ooh. they have some new items on their menu for the holiday season. And it's not just peanut butter and banana waffles like you might picture. You have to see this. It's I just if it's like a peanut butter type cheesecake. Oh, I'm sure. Ooh. Okay. I'll call him that and I'll tell good. him just for you, Mike, to bring you a slice. And <laughs> don't forget, it is day two of the 12 days of Ooh. Christmas giveaway. And each day you get that day's gift in the one days before it. So. Yes. Okay. Go to EzzaLive.com for more information. And thank you, guys. Fiona returns tomorrow.